Hey guys, and welcome to episode 12 of Mix Up, the show where we mix up the Pokemon card game, not even the heck we want, and today we're going to be talking about sort of rogue deck, I mean it's known by people, it's known as a rogue deck, but whatever. The deck is Sharpedo and Victini, or Flip Bear as I like to call it because of Sharpedo's attack, Strip Bear, and the Victini, which helps you flip. If you don't know what the deck is, because it's not the most known deck, most known deck, but basically the deck the idea is to disrupt ridiculously with Sarpedo's attack strip bear that says flip two coins at both their heads, then your opponent discards their entire hand. And obviously with Victini, you can reflip those coins if you mess up, which obviously will happen quite often because you know, coin flips aren't very reliable. Especially for me, where you get like three heads and eleven tails in each game. But either way, this deck is not too amazing just because its damage output is pretty bad with Sharpedo's at 20 at the most. Yeah, sorry. I've seen some variants include Slowking and Ursaring to help in a little Slowking for disruption and Ursaring to help improve the damage output. But other than that, the deck is really low damaging. And there are some cards that can help you low damage, like for example, Oddino from Merging Powers, which is not the greatest card, but definitely has a really nice first attack, which says, for one card list, it is. You flip a coin for each energy attached to it, and for each head, it does 40 damage. So if you get two heads, then it's 80 damage. So all you need is like a double car to start, to start doing some pretty good early damage and just keep attaching energy and get pretty high. And obviously, that's the biggest problem is that it only has 90 HP, and that's why it's not that great compared to some other cards. But it's still a, definitely an early attacker that you could use if you need some power in the deck. And there's some of the heart cards that are also very helpful for disrupting your opponent as just like Sharpedo, one of them being Pinsir from Next Destiny, so the first attack. You flip two coins and for each head you discard an energy attached to the defending Pokemon. So easily with 15 you can discard one or two energies every turn. Very rarely will you discard none. And he also has a bleh first attack that you could use if you want to, if you're stupid. And again, he has 80 HP, so you could technically power down a, 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 a Mewtwo EX with this, but again, Mewtwo would probably just kill it in one hit anyway. So anyway, here's some other options that you can use to disrupt. One of I don't own either of these cards. One of them is obvious why I don't own it, but anyway. One of them is Magmortar from Triumphant, which has an interesting attack that's kind of like Durant. that says for each fire and energy attached to Magmortar, discard the top card for your opponent's deck, and then you flip a coin to Tails, discard all those energies. And with Vikini, you can make it so you don't discard those energies that often. Zoom in on that. So you can read it yourself. Now, obviously, the deck with, like, Rush of Flosion, or, like, in, not Rush of Flosion, with Typhlosion or, uh, or, uh, Embor, you could get a lot of energies on them too and fast, and then a Victini help them out. But, obviously, you're not going to be able to get too many energies on them, but there's another card that actually is, works pretty well, and it's the same type as Sharpedo. This card isn't actually released yet, but it will definitely be in our next set, Dark Explorers, which is Umbreon. Umbreon is a very nice second attack that substitutes some of the power that Sharpedo can't, which says uh, it's a uh, shadow shutdown for our Dark on two Carlos. It does 60 damage, plus any additional darkness energy on it, and plus powers and such. And you flip two coins, and if both of them are heads, this card all energies attached to the any Pokemon, so it can completely power down a Mewtwo, and also has 100 HP for stage 1 and a resistance to Psychic, which are some other great traits it has against Mewtwo. So, Victini definitely has a lot of cards it can work with to help it with its disruption. You have Sharpedo for discarding their hand, uh, Umbreon and Pinsir for discarding their energies, and of course you have the Audino for early attacking, and there's Magmortar for just uh, for milling your opponent's deck. So that is basically all I have for this episode of Mix Up. Sorry, I was a little bit sh on the short side, but not that many cards I could work with. So next week will be definitely be a longer episode, hopefully. So thanks for watching. Hope to try out. Hope you guys try out some variant on Flip Bear to get out. Uh, to disrupt a lot, like you know, you can you can do a lot of things with Victini, and these are just a few of them. You can obviously pair them with a lot of other things, but you can make it. Uh, just try 
you could try out a couple combinations of these, like uh, Victini, Magmortar, and Embor, or whatever, you know, Victini, Pinsir, Espeon, and, or I mean, Umbreon, and Sharpedo, and Baldino, and some of them. Baldino would work pretty well in the Embor variant. But either way, I might actually try out one of those decks, but I don't have that many Sharpedos or, uh, or other things. And Umbreon obviously isn't out yet, so I can't do that. But either way, see you guys for the next episode of Mix Up, which will be the last edition of Let's Mix It Up. I think I actually forgot to say it at the beginning of this episode that this is Let's Mix It Up. But yes, this is a, this edition of Let's Mix It Up. Tomorrow will be the last one for April, so hope to join in for that. And that one will be pretty crazy. So, thanks for watching. Check you guys out later. Well, I won't be checking you out, because this is an internet video. I just became a lot creepier. Later.